Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Nice house and grounds in a nice setting. It's a bench seat there just further along, about 200 yards. So here's a spot where there's hardly any trees you can look across the river now. You can hear the white water rapids down below. Down there. Hey, you're dragging me all over son. Hey. Right, so there's the start of the caravan site. Start the caravans. Good boy son, good boy. Go to Tolleton. Good boy. It's a rook just on the other side of the river there on the on the bank. Just scurrying along there, getting a drink and feeding. And I'll see it like with the sun, the daylight, sorry, the light shining down on. Right past this first bench. So as you can see, it's just a nice little pleasant walk, short walk through the trees in beautiful surroundings. Quiet, you can hear all the birds tweeting away. Right, listen. I'll just put him on a shorter lead. He's all, he's all right, but he just lunges sometimes to play with other dogs. He's fine though. Okay, she'll stop, so if you want to carry on by. Right, okay, thanks a lot. Well, like I say, he just wants to go and say hello to every That's dog okay. he sees. And he's powerful and pulls me. <laughs> he is. Enjoy your day. Come on, come on. Hey, hey. Good boy, son. Good boy, son. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, hey, hey. Settle down. Good boy, son. So you're not wanting to fight any dogs, are you? You just want to go and say hello. You're a good boy. Good boy. Hey. So obviously when it's been lashing down the rain for days, the river comes right up here. That's why they've built this area up here. Try and keep the path. Integrity. I 
can't understand people driving their cars all the way down the bottom here. Just, um, I mean, it's only half a mile walk along here. So, unless you're disabled and you're in a wheelchair or something, yes, but you should be okay to part way up part and just do the half mile walk from the entrance where you drive in to come to the river. He's, I've got, he's getting my nerves now, so I've got to check him. Just give him a good chug on the neck. Just to let him know that he's pulling too much. And he knows that because he starts ducking down when he looks down at us because he's he knows I'm getting a vexed annoyed. Right, so there's your caravans. Hey. I mean caravans these days are like houses now, they've got PVC doors and windows, they've got verandas. I mean, look at that one there, we've got the seats on the outside for our views down in the river. Beautiful. So money's worth on that one. So if you look beyond them, you can see the road going up the hill at the top end there. And you can hear the road just up above me. Main road. Up there to the left. I've trained him well, he goes off the he goes off the path into the roof when he goes to the toilet. He doesn't go on pathways. So that's all you need to do, keep training your dog. Good boy son, good boy. So obviously he's sniffing everywhere where the black Labrador's been, peeing and rubbing against the grass knot. Right in the big gap in the trees here so you can see right across the river. Hey, right, come here, son, come here. Hey, right, stay there, stay there, stay there. Beautiful, relaxing sound and view. Good boy son, good boy. Good boy son. Right, up this little bit of a bank and it meets the other track coming down from the left. And that's another, the other way that you can come in from the main road on the B6344 I think it is. Through the wooden gate. It's like a farmer's access um, track coming down. So the people that live here can come down. There's, um, I think, a stables here as well on the left-hand side, just as you meet this uh, top path coming down from up there. 
I don't know if they're used or not, but it certainly looks like they're stables, or they have been stable at one time. But this is where I'm coming down to meet the roadway that are just on here, on the left. That's these big rhubarb type um, leaf plants and they always thrive at the edge of the rivers because they get um, the water in the soil, uh, tons to drink so they flourish. Hey, come here, come here, come here, hey. Right, so that's the track that's coming down. It bends round the right and goes over, hey. It goes over there and up there to a, a wooden gate onto the main road, right here, uh, Rothbury Road, coming along from the Coast Stream Road. But these are the stables as well. What's telling you about? I don't, I don't think I've ever seen any horses in them, so I don't know if they're used or not. Just for the long now, you've got a, a water station where they've got the measuring gauges for to show you how high the river is when it's been raining. And here it is. I think so, yeah. So that's where the water bought and go down and check the, the heights of the water. You can see all the, the, the measuring sticks going down the stairs to the, the water. Danger, no diving, no swimming. Right, so this is where you start going down towards the, the cottages. There's a couple on the left, and the old millers on the right when you squeeze through them. Um, when you get to the bottom of here, they've got those metal poles that they pull up that you can't drive any further. So it's just open to the public walking through. But well, that's the old mill there that I've done up. I've watched a, um, a YouTube video on when they bought it, and they're sort of doing it up and all that. It's beautiful inside. So you've got these two here on the left. And the old mill straight ahead there on the right. So these have got their own garden in front of the, the house. The sun bathing than that one, it's a nice day. So I suppose that's how the postman gets down here as well. Come put, um, deliver letters to these addresses. Hey, come on. Good boy, son, good boy. Right, so these are these metal poles that's up to stop um, cars driving down here. Let little charge for charging up the a car. So that's the threshing barn that was part of it. 
um, they converted this into the garage. It's all part of the same building down there, the Thrum Mill. So there's your sign, there's a exit in the gate, look, Thrum Mill. Come here, son, come here. Now I'll be able to look over the wall down at the river, but you won't be able to look. So it goes down past the, the Thrum Mill here, and <laughs> he's done it. So there's bits of white water rabbits going down a fast um, gully there. And this is the start of the gorge just past the throne mill here, where the people used to go and dive in off the rocks in their wetsuits and just swim underneath and let the fast moving water carry them down the river. So there is etched in stone above the doorway here. Thrum Mill Farm. And it's got there on the left hand side the 1806. Please keep two packed. So there's a nice couple I've got this and, and done it all up. And I had to stick to rules and regulations and building permits and stuff like that. Tearing my, he's pulling me arm, he's tearing us out now. So it's in a beautiful setting, as you can see. Got some lovely views down the Whitewater Rapids. Nice little place here for entertaining, I guess. Sitting outside underneath the canopy if it rains. They even had the, the old wheel, the water wheel, refurbed and installed back on the um, on the side here to bring them back to being like a proper mill, working mill. So it, it was to drive, make electricity for the house, the hydro mill. So the, the, the water racing down there was um, guided into the, the wheel at the turn for hydroelectricity. Right, so this is the start of the gorge here. We can see the flat rocks both sides where the water speeds up obviously because it's getting squeezed in between the both sides and this is where the barbed wire and everything starts to stop people going down there and jumping in and diving in but the thing is i mean if people are determined they'll just climb or duck underneath the fence and to get back on the flat rocks here for jumping in the gorge which is down there. That's the start of it there, look. So I've seen videos of guys, um, three or four young lads coming down here in their wetsuits and jumping in. And like I say, they were filming it with a GoPro. It's excellent underneath the water enough. Private property, please keep out. This is private land. Now, have, have they bought the land? Uh, or have they bought the, the mill to do it up, so they haven't bought the land. This is still public property, it's, that's why it says back there. Public bridal path. So it's, it's a public bridal path, not private land. Cut. Right, notice, Throne Mill is private land and our home, please take your little home with you and help keep our countryside tidy. Now I agree with that, but I don't agree with them saying private land when it's a public right of way. But you can see the lengths they've gone to to stop people going down there, because that's where they used to go down, onto the rocks there. That's where you'd start walking up the, the flat rocks, looking for places to jump in. But it's all been fenced off, barbed wired.
It's even double fence here to stop you getting in. Well, that's where you said jumping in, and that's the start of it. And then there's really deep parts of it where you've got the flat rocks on both sides. So it's coming through a bottleneck and the water really speeds up. So if you just continue along this track, it takes you to the wooden gate where you go out onto the, the B6344 straight ahead, which comes along from the Coast Stream Road, coming along to go towards Rothbury. So if you were determined to come and still go in the gorge, you'd go on the other side and just walk that uh, wire fence and then cut through and drop down through the trees over there. So you can still get onto the rocks. If you're, like I say, if you're determined. Right, so there's the um, automatic gate. So when they pull up in their cars, they've got the little remote controls and the gate opens electronically. But you, I think you can still squeeze past the gate. Notice, no unauthorised access. Right, so that's the road I came in along from the Coast Stream Road. Looking up there, there's a, a rabbit or a hare running up the hill to rabbit. So let's park that car up there. Learner. Okay, so, as you can see, there's a red light here, so I suppose when a car um, sets the sensor off the gate lock automatically, or you type in the, uh, type in the code and the, the gate lock. Same as you're coming in this side as well. 